family, how y'all doing, fam? Feel like it's been a minute. Last Wednesday, fam, I had went to the pool, okay? I was at the pool, sorry. Now, you know, you gotta take it easy with all that mercury retrograde energy and all that kind of stuff going, you gotta take it easy, right? So that's what I did last week. Now, I heard that, is it today or was it yesterday, one or the other, the last day of the Mercury retrograde, which is good news. Good news, right fam? Yes. And this video is about spiritual upgrades because I feel like that is what I have experienced with all of this energy. I feel like that's what was working for me. It's an upgrade. And I feel like it was another upgrade of tempering my emotions or my emotions being tempered feel like I've gone through different stages of healing and getting over and tempering my emotions in regards to, you know, pain and sadness or even anger and, you know, like different waves of it. And I feel like I now am going through another stage of that, of tempering my emotions, right? Which is good. It's a good thing. So, um, uh, spiritual upgrades. Now, here it is. Spiritual upgrades and the signs of spiritual upgrades is the same as the signs of spiritual awakening. It's just the spiritual upgrades are, it's more subtle, right? It's more subtle. And I've, I've heard it called or I've seen it or read it to be called something like a system update, which makes a lot of sense because even after you go through a spiritual awakening, right? You your life will change in a lot of ways, a lot of things around you, a lot of things you're not doing anymore. A lot of things change. A lot of stuff you go through with a spiritual awakening, right? But even after sometimes going through a spiritual awakening, there are still some things that you're still able to do, still people you're able to be around, things, places, you know, a lot of things that you're still able to do. You're still uh, are dealing with these things or connected to these things. And sometimes it's because of your ego that wants to hold on to something familiar. And then sometimes it's just, you have more to learn from these people, places, situations, or whatever it might be. Sometimes it's just, you have more to learn, right? Now, when the upgrade happens, okay? When an upgrade happens, it's inner work being done. It's, it's your inner world changing. And eventually your inner world has to match your outer world. And if you fight against that, then you will most likely be living in chaos from within. The chaos will be from within. If you fight against the changes, if you are inside, your frequency is changing, what's around you is going to eventually have to match. And like I said, if you're fighting that, that change, you will live with chaos from within. You know, fam, you can actually go through upgrades and not even know that you've been or had an upgrade until you put yourself in position to see how much you've really changed, right? A good example of that is me in 2022, after a good year of being single, a year and change, I was like, it's time to, you know, get out there and see the world and live life, right? So what was my greatest idea? Oh, time to go to, go to the crib, time to go to Miami, go to the crib, right? And go hang out with the friends and, you know, go party and, you know, have a good time, right? That was my thought right and i went to hang out with a couple of friends and i ended up at club live very popular club in miami right i mean that really is not my vibe i'm more of a i wanted to go to winwood i think we actually did go to winwood one of the nights of the, the next one we did go to live which I'm more of a lounge, you know, you know, bar kind of like, you know, I'm not crazy about the club, not decades, decades ago. Yeah. But, um, I ended up going to this club and 
Sometimes I feel like you end up in certain places just so you could realize why you shouldn't be there. Now, even though that's not my, my scene, I'm not a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a make the best of every situation. I'm not a party pooper. I'm not going to be like, I don't want to go there. You know, I'm going to go. Okay, wherever, let's go, right? Now, you know, you, you look at the bright side of it. I know they're going to play some music I like. I know that. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make myself, I'm going to have a good time regardless. That's how I am, right? So I don't, I don't complain. I'm, I'm simple, right? But what's interesting, fam, is there were several celebrities in that club that night. And one of them, one of the girl that I was with, she actually spoke to one of them. And he looked the other way and just started talking to somebody like she ain't even say nothing to him. <laughs> I, by the end of the night, like I was pretty much like by the time I left, it was just like celebrities. Ugh. You know, that's what I that's how I felt about them. Not not all of them, because some of them are dope as hell. We know there's some dope ones. Right. But. That same one who was rude to the girl who I was with and a couple of other ones, they are going through it right now, fam. So it's almost like it, it just seemed very coincidental to me. It's not a coincidence, but it's just like I haven't been to a club in decades. You know what I mean? Not that kind of club, at least. And the one time I find, I, the one time I go out, the one time and the last time I've been to a club, there were several celebrities in there right in my vicinity right there that are going through it right now fam quite interesting quite interesting but fam that was an example of me trying to do what i used to do and it just my inner world did not match that because they're even after going through a spiritual awakening i could have hung out in these places and everything but as time goes by and these upgrades happen things start to shift more and more. They start to fall off. And I know that many of us, we have been through it, like been through it. And we say to ourselves, you know, uh, I have removed any and everything and everyone that is not for my highest good. And then we look around and we're like, damn, damn near, damn near everybody gone. <laughs> no one there right but fam that is the process of removing things from around you and making room or room being made for things that are that match your frequency right and it doesn't even stop there because if you are energetically still holding on to the things that you've been through there still you still are not making room there it's still room that is taken when you energetically are still holding on to it and that's why i said for me the tempering of the emotions is i think one of the the, the greatest challenges of this journey tempering of my emotions um because i think sometimes i'm still like when i think about or something that has happened already crossed my mind. That's something that, you know, I'm, that may have upset me. Something I went through. Something somebody did or whatever. Whenever that crossed my mind, I'll sometimes be like, got me stuck. Who the hell you think you playing with? So I think that that would mean that I'm still kind of <laughs> holding on to a little bit of the anger from things that have happened in my past. Just by the, you know, the, the, like how I'm ready to snap the, you know, things that have already happened. So that's, that's my, my journey right now. That's my mission, the, the tempering of my emotions and just, uh, which, just looking at things differently, which I feel like I've been through this stage before, but it's almost like every time it happens again, it's on a deeper level. It's a little deeper. It's a little further. And I guess that's this ascension process. So fam, I didn't, I, that's really, I just wanted to make a quick little video, video didn't have much to talk about. Um, all I want to say is, you know, sometimes I read your comments and I wish I, I can't respond. I'd be wanting to respond to everybody and I, I, and I don't, I ain't got that kind of time fam, but 
sometimes I read your comments. It could be on the oldest videos where I have changed so much since then. And even your comments on some of those. Sometimes I read y'all comments and be like, <clears throat> y'all are so sweet. Y'all are just so sweet. Ugh. To, to see that I've attracted such like sweet people is just, you know, it's touching, okay? And I just want to thank you all for your, your, your wonderful, uplifting, positive comments. And um, I'll see y'all next time, fam. Peace and blessings.